Muff Diving 101. Do you know what you're doing when you're going downstairs and talking to the bearded clam? In today's video, I'm going to teach you three oral tips that will make sure she loves it when you go down under. The last tip is an absolute game changer, so make sure you stick around for that at the end of the video. My name is Sterling Cooper, award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion. This is my YouTube channel. Now, this first tip is more of a what not to do than what to do, specifically. And it's a very common mistake that a lot of guys make, especially because they're so keen when they go downstairs, when they go down there. They're very keen to please the girl, they're, they're very keen to push the right buttons to find what she likes, to find what kind of rhythm she enjoys. The problem is that a lot of guys, when they're doing this, they are trying a million different things. They're switching up their style and they're switching up their technique all the time while they're down there. For like 10, 20 minutes, it's just constantly switching between different styles, different rhythms, different speeds, patterns with their tongue. Imagine this for a second. The, the clitoris is actually pretty similar to the penis in a lot of ways. Imagine if a girl was going down on you, if a girl was giving you a BJ, and she was doing something really good, and you were like, yes, this is fantastic, and then all of a sudden she switched to something else, and then she switched to something else, and she switched to something else. And the whole time you're thinking, God damn it, why can't you just go back to that first thing you were doing? That was fantastic, you were doing it perfectly. Stop switching up and doing a million different styles. Well, she's thinking the exact same thing when you're doing that to her. So, yes, you do have to sort of experiment a little bit to find out what rhythm, what uh, you know, pace, what intensity, what uh, pattern she particularly enjoys. That's part of the fun of going down on a girl. But once you've read her body language, once you've picked up on her breathing, her body rhythms, you can, you're getting some good biofeedback from her, once you've figured out the right rhythm, stick to it. Don't change. Stay on it. Stop mixing things up, doing a million things at once. Just find the one rhythm that works and stick to it. Think of it this way. Why do women use vibrators? They are consistent and they stay on the whatever rhythm that they particularly enjoy, they stay on that rhythm until they reach climax. So that is your job. Do the exact same thing with your tongue and your mouth. The second thing I want you guys to really pay attention to is her body. This is how you are going to learn what she likes in particular. So the things you're paying attention to are gonna be her breathing. Is her pace increasing? Is her pace decreasing? Is she holding her breath because she's sort of getting close to climax? Or is she the kind of person who sort of breathes her way through a climax? You're gonna to have to sort of figure this stuff out. Is she moaning in ecstasy? Is she really enjoying herself? Is her thigh area and her lower abdomen starting to sort of spasm and twitch? These can be very, very good signs that you're heading in the right direction. You're, and you're getting her where she needs to be. A couple more things that are, for those first few signs I just gave you, some of those can be faked pretty easily. Not all women will fake this stuff, they don't feel the need to fake this, but some girls, if they wanna, you know, if you're not doing a good job and they're trying not to bruise your ego, they might fake it. Okay, now here is a couple of things you can pay attention to which she is not going to be able to fake. The first thing is her internal muscle spasming. If she is starting to build towards an orgasm and you have happen to have some fingers inside of her whilst you're going down on her, you're gonna be able to feel contractions and feeling her contracting around your fingers. That's a good sign that you're getting closer to orgasm. The other thing that she cannot fake is her clitoris. I mentioned before that the clitoris and the penis are actually quite similar in the way they operate. And when a woman is turned on, when a woman is aroused, when she is getting closer to orgasm, her clitoris actually enlarges with blood. It engorges with blood. And that is impossible for her to fake. So that is something you can actually pay attention to from the very beginning of going down on her to the point where you think she might be getting close to an orgasm, has her started to swell and engorge a bit with blood. If it has, then you are well on your way to orgasm town. 
my friend. Now, this next tip I'm gonna give you is crucial to being a guy who is good at going down on a woman, to being a guy who is talented in this particular department. Do you wanna know what it is? Actually enjoy going down on her. It's bewildering to me how many guys are like, oh, I wanna get better at going down on a chick, but I'm not, I don't actually really enjoy it that much. It's like, dude, you're not gonna get good at it if you don't enjoy it, because she is going to be able to tell that you don't enjoy it. She's gonna be able to tell there's a lack of enthusiasm, there's a lack of genuine passion there when you're going down between her legs. Get into the taste of her lady parts down there, especially if she keeps herself you know, clean, her hygiene's on point. I think it actually tastes fantastic. But maybe that's me, I'm a complete of it. I also think it smells quite nice down there. A woman's pubic area can smell very nice. So you start, you wanna start getting almost addicted to the tastes and the smells and the pheromones of a lady's parts down there. Otherwise, it's a complete mood killer in the bedroom. When you're trying to go down there and you're floundering around and you don't know what you're doing and you don't even like being there, she can tell. If you're floundering around downstairs and you don't know what you're doing, and, you, and especially if you don't enjoy what you're doing while you're down there, it's a complete mood killer in the bedroom. In fact, you should watch this video right here about three more mood killers that you might be doing in the bedroom right now without even knowing.